Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, welcome to Let's Make a Model Battle Wagons Part 5, I believe. And in this part we added the sections onto the, um, the battle wagon chassis and we're starting to do the body, which is the purple parts. And basically, it's very straightforward. These match up a specific way and you use glue, obviously, to secure it. You put these on and then you put the body on. I have, um, pictures of in-progress shots that will be on the Fortress Monastery blog um, following along with the Let's Make a uh, Battle Wagons thing. It's on the blog as well. Um, <clears throat> and that shows you essentially the pieces and the steps required to assemble it. Um, what I did is I painted them before I put them on, which you'll see in the blog once I make that article. Um, again, dry fit, make sure everything fits. Uh, these can be a little tricky, but they fit in fairly well. Just got to be careful. Um, I painted these the same way I painted the body. It's chaos black. Um, then tin bits, and then I dry a liberal brushing of bulk of metal over it. Um, <clears throat> what I did is, I didn't wash this to make a blend in with the rest of it until after I assembled the, I put these pieces on the chassis. Once these little wing pieces were on the chassis, then I, um, washed it afterwards uh, I just felt it'd be easier that way because I have to wash both sides at the same time because it's, it's mounted on something and then I put the uh, purple pieces on as you can see the purple is very rich and very rich very vibrant very um clean and that's okay because I'm going to weather it after the model is essentially done once the model is done with some decals on it and whatnot then I'm gonna go in and touch up paint anything that may need to be touched up as well as doing some weathering like um look making it look scratched up so like some dry brushing a bulk of metal maybe some uh some parts into metal and rusted and whatnot so that's going to happen after the model's done so from this on part it's going to look from this part onwards i should say it's going to look very clean but that's because i'm not doing the final weathering until after it's assembled, I just like doing it that way because I can get the weathering to look more, I guess, natural, if you will, and more battle damaged, more consistent, because I don't have to do it piece by piece and put it together and see that it doesn't match up. I can get a, like, a corner to match up fine, but it's doing it after it's, um, assembled. So, that's why I'm keeping it clean, but of course you can do it up to you, however you want to do it do it up to you doesn't make any sense you can do it however you want to it's up to you that's what i was supposed to say um the purple is essentially chaos black on uh, base paint and then um home got purple i think it is the uh, foundation color and then on top of that lich purple so it gets a nice purpley purple if that makes any sense um so as you can see it's starting to come together the uh it's looking more and more like a battle wagon each time we go through it, this is the back where the crew sits. I mean, not the crew, where the uh, passengers sit. This is essentially the crew quarters. Um, <clears throat> there will be some red in addition to the tires to help get the red paint job across. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So it may just be completely purple until the end where I do some red in there and some other stuff and then some weathering. But uh, being purple as a color, this is going to be a very... Uh, the color of the army is going to be very stand out in truck uh battle wagon if you will so that's pretty much it for this part the next part really is going to be i've been doing them in two parts like if you look at the uh instruction manual parts one and two i did at the same time three and four I did at the same time when we just completed five and six next up i'm just going to do seven because that's a lot as you can see it's really starting to become a battle wagon in the next two steps so i'm just going to do seven so that's what we're going to be doing next essentially um putting on the sides here and around here um, more of the armor essentially I know I said I was doing the wrecking ball and the boarding planes at the same time <clears throat> and I have the wrecking ball and pieces base coated black I didn't do anything with the, with the boarding planes yet because there's no real assembly with it until you actually put it onto the thing because it's made to make the boarding plane go down and up so just the two pieces I glued to that they go onto that, you don't glue to the boarding plank, you glue to whatever it's on. So, I gotta wait till I'm pretty much gonna see where I'm gonna put it, and then I'll do that. Same thing with the wrecking ball, I'm gonna essentially 
wait until the, the battle wagon is more complete so I see where it's going to go and then I can put it there um, so yeah that's pretty much it for the battle wagons uh, the, the, the pieces really fit in together well into the grooves like um, they probably fit even better when it's not painted first but um, it's very straightforward pieces really will have trouble fitting unless you put it in the right way um, so keep that in mind one thing I do want to say about this door area it does have a piece that goes in later on but um, as you can see hopefully you can see that see how it is here this lip goes up don't make the mistake of putting it down the lip goes up in case anybody was getting stuck there and the picture and the instruction manual kind of shows it but uh, it doesn't really point it out the article online I haven't been following but it may point it out so I just figured I'd point out here the lip on that door part goes up um, so that's that's pretty much it um, two battle wagons starting to take the uh, actual shape we're starting to see where the um, the passengers will sit and starting to see where the crew goes and then once you put the sides on it'll be more defined it'll look more orkier and um, more like an actual vehicle so slowly but surely we're going along this is because if I was doing one vehicle I'd probably have be able to do certain parts faster or updates faster but um, I'm not so anyways I'm just rambling here now um, also on an orc related note I will be continuing to do hopefully in a quicker session my codex in depth orcs for the codex um, I had the new tyranny codex which I want to do after orcs so I'm going to try and pump the orcs out uh, in a timely fashion instead of just having it slowly string along so you can expect that as well for more orky goodness um, <clears throat> so yeah until next time hope you've enjoyed and take it easy